the Pro-America Report with Ed Martin. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ed Martin here on the Pro-America Report. I was talking last week about this book that I've been reading. It's called Arabella, The Dark Money Network of Leftist Billionaires Secretly Transforming America. The book title is a complete lie because it's no longer a secret uh, because uh, our, our guest, Scott Walter, is the president over at the Capital Research Center. He worked in the uh, high levels at the George W. Bush administration uh, on policy and other issues, and he's been uh, actively working in this in, at the Capital Research Center for years now, digging into uh, what is actually going on. Uh, you know, Molly Hemingway has a, a blurb on the front of the book, which is about as good a recommendation. Uh, Molly Hemingway's uh, her book, Rigged, and many other things she's done has been extraordinary digging into these uh, issues. But this new book, Arabella, it's fascinating. So welcome, Scott Walter. How are you, sir? Great. Good to be with you, Ed. Good to be with you. So first of all, how do you choose? You do a lot of research. Capital Research Center, you go there, there's lots of research. How do you decide to turn this research into a book? What what got you here? Sure. I think the, the two biggest factors are, one, Arabella is gigantic, billions of dollars every election cycle. And the second is nobody knows about it. They know about George Soros. They've heard of Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, most people have not heard of Arabella, and they need to know. Arabella Advisors is the legal name, I guess. Um, who is it? Who Who is it? What is it? And let me say a, a starting point. How would you find it? How would you How you know to look? I mean, I know that's part of what your job is, but what? How would you find it? And what is it? Uh, well, we first discovered it in Kavanaugh summer. Brett Kavanaugh fight was on because a group called a new group called Demand Justice was uh, heavily involved in that fight. And as we dug into demand justice, we discovered it didn't really exist. It was just a fiscally sponsored project of something called the 1630 Fund. Now, the 1630 Fund had had a tiny bit of press coverage because it was becoming such a big 501c4 political nonprofit. But nobody had figured out that 1630 Fund was just one of multiple half a dozen nonprofits all run by something called Arabella Advisors, which is a for-profit firm, what we call a Beltway Bandit in, uh, in D.C. So that is how we stumbled onto Arabella. And the simplest way to put it is Arabella Advisors is a for-profit consulting firm that created half a dozen nonprofits. And then those half dozen nonprofits in turn have created hundreds of pop-up groups, which are what the public sees, whether it's demand justice, calling for court packing or attacking uh, a judicial nominee like Brett Kavanaugh or Floridians for a fair shake or secure <laughs> yeah, Michigan elections, etc. Great, great names. Uh, our guest is Scott Walter, again, uh, Capital Research Center uh, president, and his book is called Arabella, The Dark Money Network of Leftist Billionaires Secretly Transforming uh, America. Uh, it's extraordinary. By the way, chapter two, I, I, I'm playing dumb a little bit to interview you, but um, it is, um, uh, in, by the way, these are Encounter Books. This is published by Encounter Books just out in the last few weeks, but I'm playing dumb a little bit. Chapter two explains exactly who Arabella advisors are, and, and, and people need to get the book and read through this because you'll suddenly understand the who behind it. Um, but Scott, when you looked at this, again, you're not a novice. Uh, you're, you're someone who's been a keen observer and in some sense a participant in, in you know, the policy battles of the last 25 years. Um, is this the fruit of the so-called dark money revolution? Is this is this what happens when uh, Citizens United is decided and you can you can move money like this? Is this something different? Is this is this what Acorn was doing when they were setting up these uh, string of nonprofits to do you know money transfers? I, is this a is this a progression or is this an an innovation or is this more of the same? Uh, well, let's. I, I think the best way to break that down would be to say it absolutely is not simply a creature of Citizens United. Citizens okay. United only affected uh, for political re purposes. Citizens United decision was in 2010 and only affected 501c4 groups. Arabella actually has far more money in 501c3 charities, quote unquote, than in than the C4s that it has. Second, Arabella started in 2005. Five years before Citizens United is even decided. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and but so how so the thing to understand though, there's something else created in 2005, and that was George Soros's donor cabal called the Democracy Alliance, which is roughly a hundred 
billionaires, centimillionaires on the left. And the reason that was started was because he and his the other founder, Peter Lewis of Progressive Insurance, left wing billionaires, they each put 10. Welcome back, Ed Martin, Pro America Report. We were talking with Scott Walter. We had a, a glitch there, and he was telling us the shift that took place in 2005 when a bunch of money moved in from the Soros effort. So, Scott, I'm sorry about the glitch, but please continue. It's an important point. Sure. 2005, half a decade before Citizens United, you have a, a big change. Uh, George Soros and another lefty billionaire, Peter Lewis of Progressive Insurance, they create something called the Democracy Alliance, right. which is a cabal of about 100 billionaires and centimillionaires. And the reason they created it was because in 04, both those billionaires had put tens of millions of dollars into the Democratic Party in hopes of uh, in hopes of winning the presidency, George W. Bush's reelection. Right. And that failed. They were angry and they listened to a guy who told them, don't waste your money in the party. It's the nonprofit world where the action is. That's where your money ought to go. So there's been this huge shift. Now, Arabella, as it turns out, by by coincidence, was started the same year, although they were not connected. They and the Democracy Alliance were not then connected. Um, over time, they have become deeply connected because Arabella is so big and important to the left that, of course, Soros is giving it money. And so is Zuckerberg and Gates and Buffett and on and on. Uh, Scott Walter, again, is our guest. His book, Arabella, is available from a counter book. You need to get it and, and fill in these gaps uh, that we're covering so quickly. Uh, but it's so interesting, the book. I have to say congratulations on that, Scott. And and again, he's the president of the Capital Research Center. Um, uh, Scott, um, you know, 04, 05, this starts to develop. They're using the C3s. Five or six years later, um, it, it's the IRS and famously Lois Lerner that's targeting uh, Tea Party groups. Um, and what what would what would your best assessment be? Maybe you don't you can't read minds, or maybe there's not a paper trail. They're looking the other way at at the uh, uh, the five hundred one c threes and organizations that are founded that are in their own uh, uh, politics. I guess right. Yeah, one of the fascinating things nobody appreciates, the Lois Lerner scandal in the run up to the 2012 election, almost all of the conservative groups that Lerner was refusing to allow to operate effectively, really, um, hundred, there were hundreds of them. Almost all of them were C4 groups, not C3 groups. And again, Arabella has C4s, but it also has C3s, and it puts a lot more money through its C3s. So, but so, but my point here is that the, the 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 left knew what they were doing and when they were doing it, and they were again getting uh, uh getting at least a, a, a look the other way from the government. So, uh, Scott, again, you know, you're you're observer at the highest level of this stuff and sophisticated in understanding. You read this book about all these different parts uh, connecting. Have we lost complete control over the 501c3, the 501c4, these nonprofits? Is the system so corrupt? I mean, there was a period in, I think, the 50s when there was a Reese committee and a Cox report on looking at, I think, the Rockefeller Foundation and other foundations that they thought were sort of way afield of what should be done. Are we to that point? Because it does sweep underneath it a whole bunch of entities. You know, the NRA is basically being tied up in knots by the attorney general because of their 501c four, I guess, status, maybe C3 also, uh, you, you're watching the targeting of entities by the lawfare, but are, 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 is that system broken now completely, irrevocably? Well, the, here's the complicated thing. Uh, on the one hand, I would there are a few particular things like voter registration that I would like the federal government just to say, C3s can't do it, right? Because right. that's not charitable. Right. Um, however, I don't at all want to say what we need is more enforcement by the IRS because <laughs> the brutal fact is the IRS always means lowest learner. There is right. you and I are not going to be running the IRS. Lois Lerner is going to be running it, whether whatever her name this afternoon happens to be. Right. Well, listen, Scott Walter, unfortunately, the time flies, especially with our technical glitch. Uh, so I'm out of time. Thank you. Uh, we'll have you back again. The book again is Arabella, the dark money network of leftist billionaires secretly transforming America. Scott Walter, the president of the Capital Research Center. He goes into it. It's uh, it's it, it's down to the to the the group names, the individuals. It's just uh, up over 200 pages. Really worth reading. Encounter Books puts it out. Thank you for doing the book. Uh, and thanks for the time, Scott. Great to be with you, Ed.
All right, we'll take a break, everybody, and I'll put links up on social media, both to uh, Scott's work at the Capital Research Center as well as over uh, to Encounter Books for this book. And we'll be right back. Ed Martin, Pro-America Report, back in a moment. <laughs> 